Have you ever had one of those crazy stressful days where you just couldn't stop stuffing your face with snacks? Or maybe the opposite happened. You were so stressed that food was the last thing on your mind. How can stress cause some people to overeat while making others lose their appetite altogether? Let's find out the science behind this stress sorcery today on Science Symphony. When we're stressed, our bodies go into fight or flight mode, releasing a cascade of hormones like adrenaline and cortisol. This revs up our energy levels so we can, well, fight or flee from potential threats. For some people, this hormone rush can increase appetite and cravings for high calorie, comforting foods. You see, cortisol causes a surge in insulin which drops blood sugar levels. And what does your body want when blood sugar dips? Sugar and carbs to replenish its fuel tank. It's like your body's way of stocking up for the long haul in case you need to actually fight or run from danger. Pretty clever evolutionary trick from our ancestors who didn't have seamless at their fingertips. But that's not all cortisol does to make us hungry. It also seems to dull the brain's ability to realize when we're full by messing with the appetite-regulating hormone leptin. So we just keep eating way past the point of being satisfied. For emotional eaters, stress can also trigger cravings for calorie-dense comfort foods. Think Big Macs, pizzas, ice cream, anything rich and fatty that reminds us of a warm hug. The thinking is that these foods not only provide energy for fight or flight, but also boost feel-good brain chemicals like serotonin to soothe our frazzled nerves. It's like our brain's way of self-medicating emotional distress through cuddly childhood food memories. However, the flip side is that intense stress can also shut down appetite for some people through the same fight or flight pathways. You see, the hormone norepinephrine not only sharpens focus during a high pressure situation, but also suppresses appetite by slowing digestion. After all, wolfing down a burrito wouldn't be ideal if you need to outrun a hangry lion in the wild. Chronic stress keeps our bodies in a constant state of high alert, diverting energy away from digestive processes. Ever noticed how your stomach feels all knotted when you're overwhelmed? That's stress putting digestion on the back burner, while your body concentrates its resources on just surviving the perceived threat. Studies even show that stress can dysregulate appetite hormones like ghrelin that signal hunger. So for some folks, the hormonal pandemonium of stress translates to a total loss of appetite until the external pressure subsides. And just to make this whole stress eating thing even more confusing, our individual responses can differ based on genetics, previous eating habits, and our ability to cope with stress. For instance, those with a genetic predisposition for obesity seem more vulnerable to stress-driven cravings, while naturally slim people are more likely to lose their appetite. And emotional eaters with negative relationships to food may binge more than those with healthier habits. At the end of the day, whether stress makes you overconsume calories or avoid food altogether comes down to your body's unique hormonal reaction and hardwiring around stress. Hmm, well, I don't know about you, but I've definitely worked up an appetite unpacking all that juicy science. Oh, and by the way, did you know that you can now buy us a coffee or multiple coffees? How cool.